Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Please subscribe. The button's down there. Can you see it? On your right. Right there. Yes, that's it. Thank you so much. Welcome to the family. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Try and lay down and be still and quiet. Relax your body. You can take a nice big deep breath and let your day go. It's time to relax. In a house, in a far away place, there was a very special, wise old teddy bear. His name was Ted. Ted was 47 years old. Ted was Maggie's teddy bear, but Ted actually belonged to Maggie's mom when she was little. He was really old and worn out looking. His fluffy fur had all matted together. At one point, he had a teddy bear tail that was no longer there, but Ted was soft and cuddly and very, very sweet. Ted was magical because in the day to everyone that knew him he was just a regular old teddy bear but when the lights went out and the moon came up in the sky something magical happened something magical enough to make Ted the ordinary old wise Teddy become real. When Ted was real, he had the ability to take away bad dreams. He was kind of like your bad dream buddy. So if you were having nightmares or bad dreams about something, Ted would come into your dreams and help you in any way he could. If you were having a scary dream, Ted would come into your dream and protect you and help you and keep you safe. If you were having a really sad dream where something bad had happened that made you cry, Ted would come into your dreams and make you laugh and smile and cheer you up. And if you were having a dream where somehow you felt lonely and you needed some company, Ted would come into your dreams and tell you happy stories. He would make a story up that would be funny and entertaining and it would go on and on and on until eventually you forgot all about the way that you were feeling, whether you were scared or sad or felt alone. Ted knew exactly what to do. On this one night, Ted came to help Avery. Avery was Maggie's sister. Avery was having a bad dream and in her dream she kept thinking about this Halloween monster that she'd seen that had long hair and it had red eyes and it was very scary for her. For some reason, this Halloween character kept coming into her dreams. Avery didn't like it at all. It was scary. 
didn't take too long before Ted, wise old sweet teddy bear, figured out that Avery needed some help. He popped up in a dream and got very big and tall. He took hold of her hand and said, Come on, Avery, it's time to go over here. We'll be safe over here, and I have a very good story to tell you. A story all about this amazing little girl. Avery went with Ted, sat down, looked up at his big, cute, sweet face, and listened. Ted said, Once upon a time, far, far away, in a magical place, there was a little girl called Avery. Avery had magical powers. She had the ability to understand every single teddy or stuffy or fluffed cuddly toy whatever you want to call them she had the ability to understand everything and every single one of them so when they talked to her she could have a conversation with them and talk back Avery's most favorite thing in the world was stuffies and Ted knew that stuffies always made her feel better. So he included them in the story. Ted said that because this little girl called Avery understood everything that the stuffies said, she became a pioneer for the stuffies. She spoke up for them. She stood up for them. It was like... She was a politician or something, but she was a politician. A voice for all the stuffed animals and stuffed teddies around the world. One of the first things that she was going to do was stop lorry drivers or truck drivers from tying stuffies at the front of their lorries. How scary would that be? If you were a stuffy to be tied to the front of a truck? No more of that. Another thing she did was to make sure all of the stuffies always had a good home so that whoever was looking after the stuffies took care of them and treat them very, very well. She was like the police for stuffy animals. In the story, Ted said that Avery stood for being kind, for being conscious, and for taking care of your stuffies. Everyone knew of Avery, and everyone listened. It was almost like a law that you had to be kind and conscious and considerate to all of your stuffies. Avery also taught people how to understand what stuffies were saying, just like she could. Because the more that everyone understood what their stuffies wanted, the more stuffies would be happy. It was a very cute story. Like I said, Ted was very wise and he always managed to take away bad dreams or nightmares, no matter who was having them. Eventually, Avery felt safe enough and completely forgot about the Halloween character. By the time morning came, Ted was back in Maggie's room, just a normal, regular stuffy old, kind of worn out, but still very, very wise. 
and sweet and kind. Now it's time to relax your body, relax your feet and your legs, allow your body to try and be very, very still. Imagine that you're super, super tired and it feels really nice to be in bed, all snuggly and warm. Maybe you have a stuffy with you in bed keeping you safe or telling you stories when you fall asleep just like Ted. You can imagine that your stuffy is your bad dream buddy. And whenever you have a bad dream, from now on you'll see your stuffy turn up in your dream and make you laugh or make you smile or protect you and keep you safe. Maybe they'll tell you a story and distract you long enough until you are super, super tired. And you end up having sweet dreams instead of bad dreams. Because that's what bad dream buddies do. The magical stuffies. Magical teddies, just like Ted, that can take away all of your worries. Relax your arms and your body. Let your head get super, super tired. Lay in your favorite position and go to sleep. Sweet dreams, little friend. <laughs>